I went to the Brown and Brothers Hair Show. You know, I'm walking around and I'm constantly, like I'm the type of person, if I'm not busy, I feel like I'm not doing anything. And I always need like the next best thing. You know, like I need to, I, I, I'm always searching for the next best thing to do, right? To keep myself busy. And I'm, I remember walking through um, Bronner and I'm just looking at the, uh, the educators on stage and I'm like, man, I could do that. You know, like I could do that. And if I'm honest, like some of their styles were crap. You know, so I'm, I'm just like, man, I could do that and I can make it look good. And um, so from then on, I was just like, OK, now I'm on the hunt, you know, to figure out who can I what product company could I educate with? And, um, you know, at the time, like I said, I was all I was always into social media. So I'm seeing all of these people um, that are branding themselves um, towards products or they're getting um, almost like influencers. They're, they're getting money to work with these product lines and stuff like that. And I, I mean, of course, like I'm always thinking about, you know, the money, um, but I really wanted to be an educator. So um, I feel like I had maybe reached out to two, I, I narrowed it down to two companies. And when I went online to see if I could, like how I could do it, they didn't have any information online about educating, nothing. But the third product company just so happened to have an application. So I printed it out, I filled out the application, mailed that joker in, and to this day, to this day, nobody from home office called me. <laughs> but um, this was for influence, right? So I guess the, I don't know what happened to that paper. Nobody has ever seen that paper. Like to this day, nobody's seen that paper. But um, I asked the guy that worked upstairs, I was like, you know, I really want to work with um, Influence. And he was like, well, why don't you ask Derek, which was, you know, the product rep for the Metro Atlanta area. Why don't you ask Derek? And I'm like, okay. So Derek comes in on Friday. And I'm like, hey, uh, I, um, I turned in his application to be an educator for the company, um, do, but, I, but I haven't heard anything. Do you know, um, do you know who I could talk to? Um, you know, to be an educator for the company. And he was like, yeah, me. Just like that, straight face. And I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, you're joking. He was like, no, me, like for real me. So I'm like, okay. Um, and I, I was like, well, what do I do? So he was like, we got another class, you know, come to the class or whatever. And so this is how I started, you know, getting familiar with the products and using the product line. Cause I mean, now that I think about it, who was gonna let me educate for their company and I've never used their products. So yeah, so went to a couple of classes, but before, uh, before I went to the classes, no, 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 I went to a couple of classes and then I think there's something called, uh, I think it's like Insulon Clinics or something like that. I can't remember. Um, but anyway, and I had kept texting him like, hey, um, when is the next, what, what's the next step? What do I do? I, I don't know how many times I text that way, but I text him a lot. <laughs> And, um, you know, he would get back to me and just let me know, um, I'll, I'll get you, get with you soon or whatever. He finally gave me the date. I was there. I just watched how well, you know, they delivered the information on the product. It was three girls at the time. And I just watched how well they did. And I was just like, I, I can, I can do this. It's definitely different watching somebody else do it versus you getting up there and doing it. Because when it was my turn to do it, it was cricket. I was just styling and uh, I would pick up the product <laughs> and be like, yeah, so I'm using this. Um, you know, it, it has a lot of shine and go back to curling. That was like, that was it. But um, it, it was like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't change it. You know, it was, it was really fun. It was a, it was a good time. You know, the beginning stages, just learning and challenging myself. I remember being in the shower and, um, you know, just, just having my boyfriend, you know, just kind of spit out the product and I'm, I'm standing in the shower, like running down, you know, the uses and, you know, um, the ingredients and stuff like that. It was just fun times. Like it was, it was really fun, but, um, you know, working with, uh, working with influence, really changed the game for me because the owner of the company, um, his name is Rudolph Artist. And when I tell you, he, this is like the most amazing person like you could ever meet. Aside from 
you know, my product sales person and um, him, like, I, I just really don't know where I would be. And I mean, it, it's, it all came from just listening. You know, I, I can't, even now as a salon owner, um, you know, and, and, and getting a team, like, sometimes I feel like I, I be doing too much because I want them to get it so bad. Like, I want everybody to win. You know, I want everybody to get to the place that I got to, but there's, there, I mean, you can't make a person do anything. You, you just can't. So just the fact that, you know, Mr. Rudy and um, Derek were willing to share this information with me and me just being like humble and taking it on, like, I feel like I just learned so much. Like I, I took it to another level. In the salon, the third salon that I, um, that I went to, um, this is when I started learning about retail. I actually went to a class, an influence class, and they always talk about retail. One of the things that I love about influence is the fact that it's exclusive. It's salon exclusive. Exclusive. You cannot go to a beauty supply store. You can't go to Walmart, Target, Kroger, etc. You can't go get this product from anywhere else. You have to go straight to influence hair care product online or in their salon, home office, and get this stuff. So. For me, that means money because the products are amazing. They speak for themselves. I've been, I, and this is the first line where I've used the entire line. Everything from color, relaxer, styling aids, I've used everything. And it's amazing, it speaks for itself. So once you're using it on your clients and you know, you're talking to them about your pro the products that you're using, you're educating them on this product, they're gonna want it. That's where retail came into play. So initially, of course, it's like, an investment, right? And depending on what your money's looking like, you can make a small investment or you can make a big investment. And I just remember like, just thinking back, like I started off with three products, four products. Um, and I would get three of each of those four items. And at the time, um, the salon where I was working at, they had a, a product shelf, but the stuff was just collecting dust. Like nobody was buying any of the stuff. I don't know if it's because she didn't really, um, you know, talk to her clients about it, or if she just wasn't, um, if she just wasn't educated on retail, I don't know, but she let me use the shelf and I started putting, you know, just my little three items on the shelf. Then it grew to four, then it grew to five, then it grew to 10. And you know, I just, it, it was scary at first. Like I was, nobody wants to invest money feeling like, they're not gonna get a return on this. So you're either gonna invest the money on it and waste your money, or you're gonna invest your money in it and be like, I bought that mess, I'm about to sell this mess. And then once you sell it, you feel more and more confident. It's like, man, I could really do this. So that took me back to the commission salons that I worked in, like the sports clips and the great clips. Like they had this, you know, they, they had this knowledge. And sometimes in our community, I feel like we forget that. We just want to get in there and do hair, but you know, like they say, it's 90% business, 10% hair. And I mean, it just, it really, really took me to another level. So um, I started retailing and you know, the retail just, it started booming. On top of that, I'm still marketing hardcore on my Instagram and Facebook. Um, before I knew it, you know, I have people sitting and waiting for me and I'm, I'm trying to catch up. Like, you know, I, I always, um, I always schedule myself to where I'm not rushing, um, throughout my clients and I'm not having people sit and wait for a long time. I feel like that's one of the other things that I learned, um, what not to do. Um, you, you, you just see it. Clients be sitting in there like, Am I really about to spend my entire Saturday in here with you? Like, I don't really have that much hair. Why am I still here? So I learned the importance of scheduling. So like I said before, I knew it. Like I had people waiting, just like waiting for me. And I was like, man, I got to get an assistant. Like I, I'm going to have to, I need somebody to help me. Um, and I think sometimes we can be like so tight fist that we don't want to give in order to get more. It just so happened that we had a salon assistant already. I was like, hey, how much do you charge for a shampoo? Can you mold her down? Like, I mean, he really helped me out. And I mean, to this day, you know, he's still with me, helping me get through, get through his clients. So um, 
I think at that point I knew once I was using an assistant, I was like, yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing this. Like I said, my numbers were right. You know, I'm selling retail to increase my revenue. Um, you know, I'm, I'm divorced now, so I, I'm in an apartment, you know, I'm paying bills. And I mean, I just grew so much. Um, I grew so much, but yeah, I just, it, it's, it's been a journey. Um, just to think back on all of the stuff that I experienced, good and bad, I mean, I wouldn't change it. Like, I really wouldn't change it. It definitely made me tea techniques and um, that is, that's my story time, you know? That's my salon story time. So thank you guys for listening. Oh, and tell me, tell me about your story. Tell me if you can relate. Please come back, like, subscribe, hit my notification so that you're able to see the next videos and definitely comment below. Let me know what, what next story time topic you wanna talk about. All right, see you guys soon.